So, why I have these gentlemen behind me, this is what the board of sacrifice is like. This is what the Hammonds represent. This is what the, board, the Bundys represent. This is what we all represent, we the people. Before I got involved, I didn't know what was going on. And I started realizing, started doing my own research. I don't want to bore you guys, but in these documents right here, I annotated everybody and anyone that was directly and indirectly involved behind the BLM, the Department of uh, Fish and Wildlife, Congress, and the members of the legislators here in Oregon and Nevada. With these documents, we can indict every single one that I annotated here in this true affidavit. I have 41, about 4,000 do pages, documents and exhibits, or as evidentiary evidence in putting all these criminals behind bars rather than our patriots behind bars. Yeah. Our entire system of three branches of government have been hijacked by the American Bar Association. Let me clarify that. Our entire branch of government, legislative, executive, and judicial has been hijacked by the American Bar Association. All we know is the, the Oregon Bar Association, the Nevada Bar Association, the Alaska Bar Association, the Florida Bar, all bar members have hijacked our constitution. And a prime example, you go over to the website and look up Admiralty Law or Admiralty. You're going to see Admiralty in the website of the Federal Law Building. And what does that mean? That means law of the ocean, law of the, law of the water, color law, maritime law. All these laws are unconstitutional according to Article 6, Section 2, Clause 2 of the United States Constitution. Let me clarify that. Article 6, Section 2, Clause 2 of the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. Marbury versus Madison stated any law that violates the Constitution is null and void. That's it. There's nothing else behind it. In these documents, I will definitely demonstrate to you guys how they perverted our entire system. Our legislators like Jeff Merkley, Kate Brown, uh, Cliff Prince, and a whole lot of them created laws called stat statutories under the creation of what they call TRT, Technical Review Team. Under Technical Review Team, they created what's called ORS, Oregon Review stat Statutes. Under these statutes, they violate our Constitution. They violate Article 1, Section 9, Article 1, Section 10, Article 6, Section 2, Clause 2, and Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17. They went too, so far as to consider water as a mineral. It, a mineral, water, when it's a God-given right for us to drink out of water and they're privatizing water as a mineral, which is crazy. So, how are we here today? We gotta thank Harry Reid, we gotta thank Hillary Clinton, we gotta thank Kate Brown, we gotta thank the Bushes, we gotta thank Soros, the Koch brothers, we have to thank Jeff Murphy, Barack Hussein Obama, and I have it all annotated in these documents on how they did it. Within these documents that I have possessed right here in the 4,000 4, pages that I have, if you guys want to read it, Stephen E. Graski, from 2002 to present, has participated in all three branches of government. He's played in the legislative branch, judicial branch, and executive branch. What does that mean? He's a tyrant. He's taking all three branches of government and doing it what he pleases. This is what we're here today. His cahoots with calico resources, his cahoots with uranium resource, and his cahoots with Uranium One, also known as Energy LLC, which is also Venture One, when it started before it became any of those two names. What happened was, our dirty politicians in Washington, D.C. in 2002, they went ahead with Stephen E. Grasty and started creating the BLM and the Department of Fish and Wildlife. I have those documents to prove it. They came over and they started with the BLM on land grabbing. 
And by the way, Harry Reid, through his investments called ENN, also known as, and I'm trying to re recollect because a lot of information, created a satellite, which we have in the stratosphere. And what it does, it pings every, your, every mineral in the United States, from Florida to Washington, D.C., to Maine, to California, and, and to here to the, state of, to the state of Washington and Oregon. So, they created what's called DOE, or what it was around, Department of Energy. Through the Department of Energy, they use this uranium to make weapons. And guess who has lots of uranium? You guessed it, Oregon. Has tons of uranium, and they made back deals with Russia and China to sell this uranium. This is why we're here, because they committed treason upon our Constitution. They committed treason upon our lands. They committed treason upon our minerals. They should be in prison, not the Bundys, and not the not our Patriots. <laughs> These documentations that I have can, can indict every single one in regards to a common law grand jury. A common law grand jury needs to be formed, must be formed. We are the people. Scalia's told us that we are the fourth branch of government. Scalia's was assassinated by the same co-conspirators that are behind our land grabbing in Washington, D.C. All you have to do is read Scalia's Supreme Court decision on the fourth branch of government on common law grand jury. Matter of fact, read the seventh amendment of the, of the Bill of Rights. And what can we do about it? What we can do behind this is we all collectively start a common law grand jury. We must stand as one, go to Sheriff Palmer, give him the documents that I have in my possession, get the militia, get the Oath Keepers, and every patriot deputized, and we start arresting everybody from here all the way to Washington, D.C., where they created these bills. Unconstitutional bills, these criminal bills, criminal mischief, and fraud. And one thing about the Hammonds, Fraud has no statute of limitation. The hands can be out tomorrow if we, the people, come together as one. And the hell with all these board members, the hell with all these dirty politicians, and the hell with all these lobbyists. They all need to be indicted and face it in a constitution of grand jury hearing. This is why it's so important. And we need Palmer to deputize our, our militia and our oath keepers and every patriot. If we do that, I promise you, we will get back our republic, but it all depends on the will of the people. What are we willing to sacrifice? Are we willing to sacrifice what the four stood for? Look what we're standing for. Is this what it means? Or do we have our kids and basically live in tyranny? It all depends on what we want to do.